which is that when something good happens to you, it's because you earned it. When, when something good happens to another person, they got lucky. When something bad happens to you, bum luck. When something bad happens to another person, well, they, they earned that in some way. They did something wrong. They didn't work hard enough or also known as or whatever. fool's bias. That's yeah. like the, the it, that's the idiot think. That's an idiot. That's idiot thinking, right? Generally, I mean, like, if you uh, we all we all do it. But I mean, you know, you can't. At yeah, least yeah. I can't run away. Like anytime I find myself sitting in the fucking crater of of some uh, event, you know, it, I could generally like maybe try to convince myself that i'm sitting in that crater out of sheer bad luck and so i mean i think sometimes that does happen you know people are on airplanes that crash you know and and they weren't flying them they just wanted a seat on an airplane but in general the the catastrophes i've experienced in my life even though yeah maybe it might seem like some random event on paper if i spend the slightest amount of time thinking about it it's like i definitely brought this on myself Definitely. Yeah. So I, yeah. I feel like I like I don't you think like that's a bias you should really work on. That, oh, you know what I mean? Because otherwise you're gonna be a bitter motherfucker for sure. You're gonna Well, it's it's worse than that because because you it, it, it lends to like really tragic judgment and laws and things like that. And it, it there's this there's this uh, like uh it it kind of combines with this just world bias that we have, which is that it's very self protective because um lack of control and lack of predictability are the two biggest stressors in in the world yeah. those are very important things for any any mammal any species really and and so to for your consciousness to kind of arrive at this idea that this is a just world and if you just if you just work hard and do the right things you will benefit from it and so therefore those people it's it's self-protective where it's like well if if uh if some woman was assaulted she was probably wearing too short of a dress or she was asking for that's not going to happen to my wife my daughter something like that they behave in in the uh, proper right, way right it's like some kind of inoculation against the a chaos yeah. factor like you want which to which leads to all this victim blaming which creates more victims and less like care for them and 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 lets a lot of abusers off the hook and things well and yeah that's... like the general like it's like you know i i have to say i have noticed in my own life and it's anecdotal but i have noticed in other people's lives too the people who like really work hard like actually work hard it's so boring. In fact, I consider it to be one of the more annoying realities in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the people who, who tend to work really hard do seem to have, in general, better luck. Like, people who work really hard, they do sure. seem to have, like... Uh, and it, without I mean, a doubt. Without a doubt. Otherwise, I'd have a six-pack, man. Otherwise, I'd be fucking ripped right now. I mean, I'm just, like, you got to work out over time. And then you and then you get in shape it sucks i mean it really there's a suck. lot of different domains though and some of that's coming from ocd some of that's coming from their own anxieties and fear and and also some of that's coming from in terms of a six-pack uh, losing weight phys ph physical physical strength is something that is so easy to see whereas like creativity like, what are we evaluating here? You know, it's so like, does someone have a six pack or not? I can see that. Is someone a genius or not? I don't even know what that means. The, right. the word is such well, a Well, the idea of genius, door. yeah, that's a, I think that's one of the many, it's a great way to procrastinate is you, you pretend there's some genius thing and that there probably is, I don't know, but you know, it's just nuts because like all the people I call genius, they they're fucking workaholics. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't stop working. They're always working and working and working. They're always like not in a health now, not in a healthy way necessarily. Like many of them I've noticed seem to have like a an obsessive quality where they they once they latch onto a thing, they're not letting yeah. go. They're just going to keep but that over time produces 
that the final product that people see and they're like, you're a fucking genius. It's like, yeah. well, I, you should see the earlier drafts. Go yeah, back and look yeah. and call me a genius. Go back and look at this bullshit two months ago when this joke was just some garbage I'd scrawled into my fucking notebook. And then yeah, watch it I, bomb and bomb and bomb until it finally yeah. grew into its own thing and then and then worked. You know, that's a little bit of the... um. God, Jesus, it's one of Elliot's, I'm sorry to quote Elliot Smith, some line in Elliot's, an Elliot Smith song goes, the game looks easy, that's why it sells, you know, so it's like, yeah, well, there's a lot of, first off, there's a lot of survivorship bias, because there's a lot of people that work their ass off and are incredibly intelligent and, and won't go anywhere with that. You you will increase your odds, certainly, with with having, you know, they might not break into the industry so. they're trying to break into, but you run yeah. into like, you know, like uh, run into somebody who, let's say, loves Shakespeare, puts on Shakespeare in the park in some little town, is obsessed with Shakespeare, constantly reading Shakespeare, working. On, you watch them do a Shakespearean fucking monologue, and they're good, way better than you. I, yeah, by yeah. the by, like the standard of showbiz, are they? Did, did they like succeed in the way that I don't know? Uh, um daniel day lewis succeeded no maybe not not everyone will rise to the top of any given industry but the hard work did produce this kind of yeah ability that was not i wouldn't call it luck otherwise people now there are stories i've heard sure. pisses me off the fucking head injury thing somebody gets hit in the head sustains a head injury wakes up the next day they can play piano have they, you have you have you seen the documentary Maryland Call? 